Dámy a pánové, já vás vítám u dalšího videa ze hry Red Dead Redemption 2 a dneska budeme samozřejmě pokračovat, jsme v novém táboře, takže se tady samozřejmě porozlídneme, máme tady nějaký questy už vyobrazený na mapě, takže se samozřejmě podíváme, co tady můžeme dělat v našem novém táboře, nicméně v minulém díle jsme vlastně přepadnuli vlak toho nějakého velkého šéfa, získali jsme nějaký ty dluhopisy a pak jsme teda utekli na východ, kde jsme právě se utábořili tadyhle v tom našem novém táboře. Takže jdeme se samozřejmě podívat, co tady prvně můžeme tak nějak jako uh, dělat. Máme tady Pearsonovi do, donášet zvířata samozřejmě. Máme tady náš stan, kde se můžeme holit, můžeme se vyspat a tak dále. Takže to tak nějak extrémně ani nepotřebujeme momentálně. Tady máme dál. Stolový náboj, ok. Tak máme tady nějaký obchod. Jo, takhle tady můžeme přispět, ok. Hmm, dát peníze. Hmm. Jo, tady můžeme, kolik tam můžeme hodit, jo. Máme třeba 5 dolarů teďka momentálně. Tady máme samozřejmě řezníka, který mu máme donášet ty zvířata a kůže. Vyrobit vylepšení. Jasně, takže si můžeme vylepšovat naše brašny, jasně, aby jsme unesli víc těch, jasně, stoly, Johnu v noclech, Arturu v noclech, kuchyňský povoz, hlavní táborák, předsunutý táborák, ok. Co dáme mu na jíst? Okay. Ještě tady máme jakousi lékárničku ukázanou, se tady jdem podívat. Okay. Takže to máme asi tak nějak momentálně všechno, zatím tady toho samozřejmě moc není. A podívám se teda na mapu. Trejček, slušná společnost pro Valentinovsku. Trejček s tobou potřebuje mluvit, ok. Já se samozřejmě na mapu, tak je to jakoby celkově velký. No, malý to rozhodně nebude. Tak, uh, Javier Escuela, odpočinek po Americku. Ok. Reverend Swanson. OK. Tak jo, takže pro mě se s trejčkem nejdřív. To je zase, jsou samozřejmě questy, který je nějaký rozcesník, dostavník do, dokonce. OK. 
Takže pro mě je se strečkem. Zjistíme, co strejček potřebuje. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay then, let's go. All right. Okay. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Idiot. Takže jdeme teda do Valentinu. get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Okay. Sherisky <laughs> Coon. Easy there. <laughs> Whoa now. Yeah, there, you got it. <laughs> well done, Arthur. Easy there. Hey, Emma. This way. Come on. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just... Trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Nemajzich. Mm. 
Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. Sheriff's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. All right. Here we are, just like I said. Cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. I imagine Paris and So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. <laughs> Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Dźwigatý tabák. A chceme hledáme kávu. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Let's have kávu. Okay. Okay. If you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. No, to mě nedělej žádný problémy, prosím tě. Jsme tady pět minut. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Where's Tilly and Karen? 
I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Samozřejmě začínají problémy. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away with now. Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? Help people. I, I do all I can manage. I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather, mid twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please. Zkusíme to tady nerozmlátit, ale nic jsem s tebou. Play him, not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. OK, takže máme tady vlak, který pojede opuštěnou krajinou a banku, o který teda by občas mohlo být nějaký větší množství peněz. You OK? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. All right then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Damn it. Yeah. Shit, they need to be last person now. Just following it. Get back here right now! Yeah. What the fuck? Okay, dobře. Kvěle let jsem teda nečekal. Návrat ke kontrolnímu bodu asi. Help 
Ale, ale, ale. You have to help me. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> Now please pull me up. Please. Please. Mm. My hands are slipping. All right. Come on. Musíme, jak to bude s tím, když ho necháme jako by být? You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> But I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense. In this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. Yeah, they like it. Tak, kradli jsme tady teda koně. Mám tady nějaký kitky. Divoká mrkev. Tak a měli bychom se asi vrátit, předpokládám, do Valentine. Vrátit koně samozřejmě a vyzvednout strička a děvčata. Tohle otáčení ko toho koně je taký zvláštní teda trošku, ale to chce jenom zvyk samozřejmě. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Who's your friend there? Ha! Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well... I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. 
I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win, freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Okay. Hey, we have here photography. Mabel Elizabeth Coulter, velká pistolinská dáma, dynamitová vdova, šestkrát vdaná za karbaníky, lupiče i odpadlíky, nikdy se nerozvedla, nosí smuteční šaty, poslední přeživší z gengu Coultera Tobina, Zadaná za přepadení v Berodes, za její hlavu nebo dopadení velká odměna, naposledy spotřená blízko Blue Water Marsh, nepřibližovat se příliš nebezpečná pro pouhého životopisce. Okay. Jo, takže to potom máme označený teda na mapě a náš kuň nám asi utekl, nevadí. Pane, se vrátím sem. Tady máme teda dělat, co se musíme podívat. Um. Jo, to jsou tyhle ty. To není to, co jsme začali. Já myslím, že tady budeme muset vyzvednout o strýčka. Ale asi ne. takže tady potom začneme teda s tím Javierem zase. Ale necháme se to asi až na příští video dáme a vánové, protože pro dnešní díl už máme víceméně čas to skončit. Takže já vám děkuji za sledování dnešního videa, doufám, že se vám video líbilo. Like a komentář samozřejmě potěší. Pokud ještě nemáte, určitě nezapomeňte dát odběr, protože mě to samozřejmě udělá strašně velkou radost a vám tak neunikne žádný nový vydaný video. My se uvidíme teda u dalšího videa ze hry Red Dead Redemption 2. Opět zítra odpoledne. Ještě jednou děkuji za sledování a mějte se teda prozatím hezky. Ahoj.